Hey, hey, Blue. Yes, it is cool. This army is cool, said a passerby. All right, guys, we are going to take a look at this Warriors of Chaos Slanesh fiend, uh, themed army. I almost said Slanesh fiend. But, and that, that would be true, too. So, anyway, guy, I don't even know where to start, man. So, here's these Warriors of Chaos. They're converted with these horned helmets and halberds. Now, the halberds come from the Dark Elf kit. And uh, arguably, they could be hand, weapon, and shield. You notice they have shields. Halberds are two-handed weapons. But the shield does help them get closer as they do get the shield save until they're in close combat. So against range, it's good. Here's the Chaos Sorcerer Lord model by Games Workshop. Absolutely fantastic fig. Worth just including on its own right. If you switched up the head, you could have really a good uh, dark elf guy here, just with some changes. Uh, here's the Battle Standard Bear. Got this kind of freehand Fiend of Slanesh thing going on. I say yes to that. Uh, champion. And you'll notice this is all on magnetic movement trays. These are produced by Blue Table Painting. They are the best movement trays on the market. And uh, what's great about them is they, because they, the guys can slide along the top, you got this little bit of wiggle room. Like if some of these guys aren't playing well with each other, you can actually have a guy come off the edge. Um, now, I'm pretty sure there's a way for these guys to fit just right, uh, but uh, I didn't really uh, want to bother with that for the purposes of this video. So this is a Valkia conversion. And uh, the, this client's using Beastmen as his Marauders of Chaos, which I think is a really, really good choice. Uh, they're very, they're very flavorful. Got a Demon Prince here, uh, looking pretty trendy. We did a specialty report on him already, so we're not going to do another one. Did want to talk about, um, let me move this guy. Well, in fact, we didn't look at this guy. This is a uh, champion, or excuse me, a hero on a steed of Slanesh. Absolutely fantastic figure. Makes me happy. Okay, uh, so let's look at the Chimera. You see these crop up in Warriors of Chaos armies. And they are, there's a reason why. They're really, really, really super good. The kit is very characterful. And uh, this actually makes a Manticore as well. You can put a rider on it. There's a rider that goes with it. And uh, the stats on the Manticore are just absolutely tremendous they they make me happy inside uh, let me get to those real quick i've got the got the book with me there we go chimera so they're strength five six excuse me strength six toughness five uh four wounds uh, initiative is really low but they do have six attacks and that's really kind of the big deal with these guys they got a four up scaly skin now uh they also can ha they also have a tail. So the fiend tail gets another D3 attacks. So an average of two attacks. So on average, these guys are getting eight attacks. And if something's attacking them from the rear, the tail gets plus one to hit. So uh, the tail is really cool. Look at that. It's like this weird blind dragon thing. So, oh my gosh, fantastic. Love that kid. Now you can also, for 30 points, you can give him Flaming Breath, which is a Strength 4 Breath weapon that's also flaming. All right, so uh, the Chimera is a really, really, really flexible unit to have running around on the battlefield. Uh, so in addition to the upgrade of Flaming Breath, you can also get Regeneration. And that, that's a must if you ask me. It's only 15 points, so putting that on a 200 plus point creature is really really an excellent bargain um, and you can give them poisoned too so anyway uh, let's look at some other cool stuff in this army you got some chaos knights here freehand banners on those so uh, that's some good stuff and these guys have that dark elf uh, weaponry as well which gives them that slanashy look to be sure all right let's take a look at this uh, war shrine here and this is a really fantastic centerpiece. I mean, really, just the model itself can, can carry it completely. And as most of you may recall, there wasn't a War Shrine model for like a long time. And uh, it comes with lots of extras. What I like about what the guys did with this is they painted this not like a statue, but like an actual demon. 
uh, that's that's holding up this uh, this sort of symbol. It's got this uh, sort of a slaneshi feel to it for sure. There, and I'm I'm not sure if that's conversion or stock. Um, yeah, I yeah, that is just really really super. Makes me happy. The beasties that carry it are really cool. They're very very evocative. Tons of opportunities for detail on those guys. And uh, we've got some hell striders back here. These are ogre conversions uh, that we did up. And uh, let me tell you what I know about them. Hold on, let me just get some in the middle here. That'll make it a little easier to, to see them. So um, these are the helmets from a Dark Eldar Kronos Talos kit. And the kit actually comes with uh, three, at least three of them, probably more. So you end up with a ton of extras. And uh, the bodies are Crypt Horrors from the Undead line. And then uh, we just did a lot of uh, plastic card stuff and also uh, grabbing uh, pieces from our bits, uh, taking plastic card and melting it for the loin cloths. So, uh, I mean, a, just an absolute ton load of effort went into making these guys uh, unique. But the Crypt Horror bodies were definitely very suited and uh, I think gave them, in the end, this uh, very Salon-ish feel to them for something that's very unique. And on top of that, we made 12 of them. So, uh, I don't think you're going to see anything quite like it on the battlefield. Got these Gore Beast chariots, which are just absolutely cool models. Boy, GW has just really, really, really firmed up its line. Uh, it makes me happy. Makes me happy to see it. Well, guys, that is this Warriors of Chaos army. This is a great example of what BTP does and that we do day in and day out here with our amazingly talented crew of full-time and part-time painters and assemblers. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you got your inspiration for the day.